only game show where you don't have to know anything to win. Here's your host, Jeff Sutton. Woo! I am Jeff. And I love my job, because that's what it's like for me to come to work every day. Welcome to Brain Surge, the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills. Let's meet the stars of today's show, like all of the Brainiacs. Lance Jesse, she can juggle beanbags and tennis balls. Sam's dad once paid him 50 bucks to cut his hair. Daphne has over 100 pairs of shoes, including the ones she has on. Tyler plays second base and wants to be a professional ball player one day. Camille loves to sing karaoke. TJ is a thrill seeker who loves to ride roller coasters. One of you guys today is going to go home a champion and have a chance at over thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a head-to-toe sliming. You guys are going to be competing in three intense levels of brain games. And this first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use the special game pod you got in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to move on to the next level. And the other two, well, you're going to have to go down the brain drain. Is everybody ready? Good, because I am ready. I'm going to go head over to the brain center so we can get started. Let's go. Level one. I'm not really a ginormous head. I just play one on TV. Let's kick things off with a 10-point puzzle. Remember, pay attention to these instructions. These kids are about to play a game of dodgeball. Keep track of which kid gets hit the most. All right, lock in your answers. All right, Tyler, I know you're a baseball player, but uh, how do you fare in a game of dodgeball? Oh, Wait. say against Sam, TJ, Camille, Daphne, and Jesse. I'd beat them all. You'd beat them all. Wow, OK. Well, Wrong. it's getting real. Let's watch it again and see who got hit the most. It's a fast-paced game. As you can clearly see, everyone's making their way around the court. Got some good arms out there, I'm not going to lie. Oh, it was number two got hit the most. Let's see who got it right. Oh, Tyler and Camille. Tyler backing it up, backing up the top. This next puzzle is worth 20 points, and here it comes. There's a number on the side of this car. It's going to race by three times. As soon as you can identify the number, enter it on your game pod. How'd you guys think you did? Good. Okay. Pretty good. Good? Feeling good about this one? All right, well, let's see what the correct answer is. Four, three, four, four, three. I got some cheering happening. Let's see who got it right. All right, Sam, Jesse, Daphne, Camille, congratulations. Give yourself 20 points. All right, TJ, we need you to get you on the board, and I got just the plan. It's called this next puzzle. It's worth 30 points. How do you feel about that? That's what's up. I need the points. Yes, you do. Here we go. Take a look at these numbers. Which number is the largest? Enter your answer now. All right, Sam, how do you think you did on that one? Um, pretty sure I got it right. You're pretty sure you got it right? If you took all the numbers of the correct answer and added them together, what would that equal? A number. Very good. Good answer. Okay, let's see what the correct answer is. The correct answer is nine, four, nine, nine, four. Let's see who got it right. Judging by TJ's reaction, he is on the board. Camille, you're holding down first place with 60. Sam in 50. Jesse, also 50. TJ, moving yourself into fourth place with 30 points. Nice job. Daphne and Tyler rounding it out with 20 and 10, respectively. Here comes your fourth puzzle. It's worth 40 points. This kid's about to ride a crazy roller coaster. See if you can count how many loops he does. How many loops did the roller coaster do? TJ. 
you uh, you do the roller coaster thing, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes. How many times have you thrown up on a roller coaster? Never. All right. Well, let's find out what the right answer was. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Oh, I see a lot of happy faces. Everyone got it right. 40 points across the board. And this next puzzle's worth 50 points. Take a look at me in the upper right-hand corner. I'm on my way to my friend's house. Keep track of which house I go into. Which house did I go into? Daphne, don't you live in that neighborhood? Yeah. Yeah, wh which house was it? Do you know? Number three. House number three, Anywhere USA. Let's see what the correct answer was. It was number one. Who's going to get 50 points? Let's find out who got it right. Oh, Sam is the only one who got it right. Sam, that's going to propel you into first place with 140 points. Camille, you're hanging on in second with 100. Jesse, 90. TJ, 70. Daphne, 60. And Tyler, 50. Okay, guys, we are down to our last puzzle. After this puzzle, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level. And the other two of you, well, you know where you're going. Down the brain drain! Because I'm generous, this puzzle is worth 100 points. Here it comes. I'm such a good boy, I'm gonna call my mom. Pay attention to the number I dial. Oh, it's blocked. What were the last three digits of the number I dialed? How'd you guys think you did? Good? There's a lot of points on the line here, 100 points. All right, let's see what the answer was. Four, eight, seven. Let's see who got it right. Jesse's the only one who got it right. Give yourself 100 points. Awesome, nice job, Jesse. It's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two are going down the brain drain. In first place with 190 points is Jesse. Thanks for that last uh, puzzle. In second place with 140 points, Sam. Coming in in third is Camille with 100 points. Now, there are only three players left and one more slot. Coming in in fourth place and moving on to the next round with 70 points is TJ. Way to go, TJ. Daphne and Tyler, you guys played a great game. And before we send you down the brain drain, let's see what you've won. Congratulations, you've won Nick Arcade gift certificate. Nick Arcade is where you can buy video games based on all your favorite Nickelodeon shows. All that and a bucket of slime. There's only one way out of here, and that's down the brain drain. When we come back, these four brainiacs are going to put their massive minds to the test on level two. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge. My name is Still Jeff, and I'd love to congratulate the four of you brainiacs for making it to this level. Get to know them a little better. Jesse, I understand you'd like to train seals one day. Oh, yes. Um, whenever I go to amusement parks, it's always fun to watch them, and I think it'd be fun to actually be on stage. Well, you're going to love this round because the winner, I throw fish at them at the end, so it's fantastic. Ah. It's great. <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Is this really true that your dad once paid you 50 bucks to cut your hair? Yes, it is. Between you and I, I think you could have held out for 70. Camille, I understand you speak accents. Yep. Give me, give me your best British accent. Oh, I'd like to get slimed. Very nice. TJ, let's talk about roller coasters. What kind of roller coasters do you like better? The ones with loops, corkscrews, twists, upsy downsies? Up and down. Up and down. You like the up and down? Straight yeah. and fast? Yep. All right. Can't argue with that. Enough of the chit-chat. What do you guys say we play the game? Yeah. Let's do it. 
Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm going to tell you a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Any of you guys read this before? Uh, yeah. Ah, it's a quick read, right? All right, stand up. It's story time. <sighs> Pay close attention to the story I'm about to read you, because when it's all done, I'm going to ask you some questions on what you just saw. Got it? All right. Remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. I always wanted to be a pirate when I grew up, so that's why I enrolled in Longhand Silver's Pirate School. Principal Pegleg said I had to buy a backpack because some guy named Davy Jones had dibs on all the lockers. I needed a compass to find my way to gym class, where we juggled real cannonballs. When I pretended my jock strap was an eye patch, everyone laughed. Unfortunately, Coach Scallywag didn't think it was so yo ho ho, so he made me walk the plank. Up next was art. I painted a treasure map of an island shaped like somebody's butt, and I entitled it Pirate's Booty. My teacher gave me a D because I used a C to mark the spot instead of an X. Letters have never been my strong suit. The school cafeteria was below the poop deck, which is never a good sign. The daily special was skull soup, but I opted for the crossbones burger. After lunch, I had swashbuckling 101, but unfortunately, I cut the rope I was swinging on with my sword. My final class was beard trimming for beginners, but Miss Swan told me to come back when I grew one. Just then, a noisy parrot sitting behind me shouted, Get lost! The teacher thought I was mouthing off, and I had to swab the deck after school. That's my story, and it's all true. All right, I'm gonna ask the questions. You're gonna lock in your answers by sitting down. If you guys hear this noise, that means you're right. If you hear this noise, TJ, would you demonstrate by sitting down for me? TJ. Oh, that's the sound, that's the sound. Stand up, and you're gonna wanna hang on for the ride. All right, Jesse, first question. What type of noisy bird talked back to my teacher? Um, a parrot? Let's find out. Nice job, Sam. What did I juggle in gym class? Real cannonballs. All right. Nice, well played. All right, Camille, what instrument did I use to find my way to gym class? A compass. You are correct. TJ, you ready for this? Yes, I got in trouble for pretending my jock strap was a what? Eye patch. Eye patch. You guys should never do that, by the way. The school cafeteria was located below what deck? The poop deck. That's <laughs> just a funny word. <laughs> Sam, what was the name of the school's principal? Um, principal Pegleg. Good memory. Camille looks worried already. In what class did I cut the rope I was swinging on? Um, swashbuckling class? Swashbuckling class, let's find out. <laughs> nice, it was a beginner's class, the Swashbuckling 101. Well done, Camille. You look more surprised than anyone here. <laughs> My final class of the day was called What for Beginners? Hmm, this is a tough one, TJ. Time is running out. Throw me out an answer. Art class? Art class? Oh, TJ, hang on, you're going for a ride. We'll see him over at the brain drain. It was beard trimming for beginners. Jesse, what was the name of my pirate school? Longshore Silver. Longshore Silver. Oh, no, hang on. The correct answer was Longhand Silver's Pirate School. Sam, Camille, it's time for a knockout round. Yeah. All right, knockout round. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm about to jump it up a notch, all right? So I hope you're paying attention. Behind these numbers are images from the story that I just read you. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize the board. You guys ready? Yes. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time's up. Did you guys get a good look? 
good because I was paying no attention. Sam, you're up first. What's your first number? Number four. Number four. And number 16. And number 16. Nice. Well played. Camille. Number nine. Number nine. Eleven. And eleven. There it is. Skull soup. Sam. Number one. Number one. Number ten. And number ten. There it is. Camille. How about it? Number two. Number two. We're running a sale on number two. Number 15. And number 15. The coach. He's out of there. Sam. Number five. Number five. The concentration. Number eight. Number eight. There it is. Camille, it's getting dicey. Number six. Number six. Number 12. And number 12. Okay. Now, Sam, you know, there's two pairs left here. So you know the pressure. If you get it wrong, it's going to be pretty obvious for Camille here. Number seven. Number seven. Number f Wait. I need an answer, Sam. Number 14. Number 14. Oh, all right. Camille, you need to get this next match correct to win and eliminate Sam. All right, so pick wisely. Seven. Seven. And 13. And 13. Let's see how you did. Well played, Camille. Sam, you played a great game. Have a seat. You got yourself a one-way ticket to the break. Don't give me that. No, oh, he's giving me the, the sad look. It's not my turn. <laughs> Sam's out of here, which means Camille is moving on to our final stage to play for thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a chance to get slimed. Let's see what TJ, Jesse, and Sam won for making it this far. Congratulations, you've won a T67 trike scooter. The new T67 trike carving vehicle is light, compact, and portable. It promotes fitness while you cruise without pushing or pedaling. The trike T67. There's only one way out of here, and that is down. can find the path to victory on the final stage, level three. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff. This is Camille. She has cleared the first two levels. Nice job. How you feeling? Right. Right there. Nice. The double high five, always a crowd pleaser. You're about to play the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes, plus slime from head to toe. Level three, the final stage. Camille, this level is made up of three parts, each one more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right square. For example, if you step on the right one, it's going to light up like that. If you step on the wrong one, and you're gonna have to come back here and start all over. Once you complete the first path, you're gonna stop the clock by stepping on that orange button right up there. Okay. Then the floor is gonna expand to a five by five grid, and that's where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path, and then you'll have the hardest path of them all, the six by six grid, and here's what you can win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win a karaoke system. Karaoke from Boca Pro, the portable karaoke system that includes pre-installed songs and memory cards. All you need is a TV and Boca Pro's karaoke system. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a computer. The Lenovo computer comes with a one-year membership to KidZooey. KidZooey gives you access to over a million kid-friendly games, websites, and videos. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a Circus Circus getaway. Stay at the Circus Circus, located on the Las Vegas Strip, featuring dining, midway games, and circus acts. Plus, passes to the Adventure Dome theme park with 25 rides and attractions. All right, Camille, this is it. I'm going to put, uh, put 90 seconds up on the board. There it goes. Here's your pattern. Pay attention. You're going to see it twice. All right, there's 
once. <laughs> Here it comes again. The clock is going to start when you make your first step. All right? Whenever you're ready. She's off. Making strong moves. One more choice. What's going to be? All right, here it is again. You are so close. Okay, go ahead. He's got it this time, it looks like. Go up, stop the clock. Oh, yeah, nice job, come on, come on back. Bring it low, bring it low. Nice, you just got yourself a karaoke machine. Oh, what's this? The five by five? And you're playing for the laptop computer now. Check it out, here's your path. A little bit more difficult. You have 71 seconds. The clock will start again when you make your first step. Whenever you're ready, Camille. Okay, I'm ready. She's gone. She took a deep breath, jumped into the deep end, and she's out as if it wasn't even a challenge. Come on back, Camille. Bring it up top this time. Very nice. Oh, we're opening this dance party up to the six by six. This one's for Vegas and the sliming. Are you ready? Yes. I am ready. Let's see the path. It's as if it's never going to stop. All right, she traced it out with her finger. It seemed to work for her the last time. You have 65 seconds left. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. She's off. Last time she traced it out with her finger. And it worked out well this time. Here it is again. Okay, she's got it. She just corrected it. She's like, oh, I got it this time. I need to go up one. There it is. She's doing well. All right, head back, head back, head back. You got time. You got 40 seconds left on the clock. She's off and running. Oh, there you go. 30 seconds left. This is where she messed up last time. She's got it. Things are looking good for Camille. She's got it. Go on, stop the clock. Come on, you got it. You got the karaoke machine. Stand over here. There you go. And you're getting the slime. Fantastic job, Camille. Turn around and look at the camera. That's all the time we have for Brain Surge today. Tune in next time when we go head to head to head to head to head to head with six new Brainiacs. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. Hey, this is Kevin James, and I'm hosting the 2010 Kids' Choice Awards. And here to help me is the great Kiki Palmer. So, I'm going to show you some pictures. All you have to do is say their real names. Okay, that's easy. That's iCarly. I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Now this is the big one. All right, let's do it. That is Nick Jonas. No, no, Kevin. Don't miss Kevin James hosting Kids' Choice 2010. Live from Hollywood, Saturday, March 27th at...